payback is at the end of the month. And let's go for the three matches that are on the card currently. Or the newer ones. Because of the Superstar Shake-Up, I just want to say for that, there is one match affected by the Shake-Up so far. And that will determine a lot of things. We'll get that when we get there. And first off, the Cruiserweight Championship is on the Lawrence Nebel defends once again against Austin Aries. Uh, this match is a rematch of WrestleMania. Um, on one hand, I would feel like Aries could win it. But what would be the point of having him at WrestleMania, not winning the title at WrestleMania, then not doing that. So I'm going to go with Neville. Neville retains, and Aries just chases the title for a while until he wins it. Next up, a match that is affected due to the Superstar Shake-Up. Bray Wyatt is now a part of Raw, but he has his rematch clause with the WWE Championship, so he will face Orton in this House of Horrors match. And I'm not really sure what the rules of the House of Horrors match is. I do know... Let's, does it say anything on this House of Horrors match? We don't really know what it is. So I feel like Orton will retain just because he just won it at WrestleMania. And break and then go on to Raw and eventually become Universal Champion. And finally, the Raw Titan titles, the Broken Hardys against Sheamus and Cesaro. This one's also simple. The Broken Hardys just won the belts, so it wouldn't make sense for them just to drop it. Uh, again, they're not really using the broken gimmick. Matt is sort of broken, if that makes sense, basically due to the lawsuit of Anthem uh, and the whole deal of the broken gimmick. Matt is, is partly broken, but nonetheless, they will retain. And with that, uh, payback at the end of the month, and more matches will probably be made depending on what happens with the shakeup. 